We had come from upstate New York where there's a ton of old houses and I was looking for an old house. And when we drove up and we saw it, here was an old house and it was all the cool angles, like up in the bedrooms where you have the roofs are slanted, you see the roof line and it was just the character and personality of the house. Just a lot of character. Um, I call it the healing house, and that's because it was a place where people came to heal. All the rooms open up where you have light and air coming in, and it's just a place designed for healing. And when we bought the house, it had been a really difficult time, and it went on to be a difficult time in my life. And the house, after this really difficult time, it was a healing place, and it's continued to be that for me, where it's just a place that sort of says, come in, sit down, and and stay a while and just be here. Everybody likes to come to this place. It, I don't, it's sort of like the house puts its arms around you and it's like, come on in, come home, relax, be here a while. It's peaceful. It's peaceful in the morning. It's a peaceful place to come home to at the end of the day. You know, in the, in the winter you sit by the fire, in the summers you open up the windows and you sit on the porch. When my kids come, when family gathers, friends come over, we gravitate towards the porch. It's almost like being in a little tree house or something. I sit up there and I can look out in the mornings and just look out at the different trees and hear the birds. And it's just peaceful. There's no sound of cars, nothing around, just me in the room. And it's just a very calm place. A friend once told me that when you buy an old house, you're just gonna be a person that's there for a little while. You're becoming part of that house's story. You're one in a long line of people that are gonna make their memories there and live there. But the house is gonna be there long after you're gone.